I took second place in ST and second place in third strike the first time I'm up there. Take and I got a total of 70 bucks. And I just like helped, like it was all cash in my hand. I was like, ah, money. I'm like, this is what top players feel like. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> but now we're on to losers finals top three here. Yep. Yep. Zelda being put away, Mysterica is on Palutena. I don't blame her. This is definitely the time where you want to be on your best, and this is definitely a character that will put that. And like, the Ghost Palutena will come back. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Mysterica is going to transition over to uh, Palutena a lot more so than Zelda, or with Zelda as yeah. her uh, backup character, just yeah. because both I of mean, them have the teleport mix-ups. Oh, yes. And uh, the thing is that both of, both of those characters she is very proficient at. Oh, that Dancing Blade almost killing, but not quite. But yeah, definitely want Palutena for this matchup. She's got the out of shield options, obviously the Nair, outranging with forward air, back air that can go through most of Lucina's moveset, and of course the zoning capabilities with explosive flame. Having projectiles is always great. The teleport might be able to get you out of some sticky yep. situations teleport right there. Teleport cancels. Same thing with Zelda. A little bit tighter of a window, but yeah. less yeah. range. Uh, well, the, well, the, the reason, well, the reason why that it's so easy for Palutena as Earl takes that first shot. Oh, that's right. The reason why it's so easy for Palutena is because her, the end of her warp has a lot less traction than it does for Zelda. Mm. It, it's like with Zelda, there's a lot of weight to the end of the teleport. Case. So that's why you don't slide as much at the end of the teleport. So that right. means that the window to ledge cancel that is really tight. Whereas Palutena, you slide a lot. So it's literally just... Find your angle and then just hold diagonal and oh, you're good. You'll, you'll probably be you'll probably be canceling. Right, back air going through that option. Nice. There's I that like seeing cancel. that. I, as soon as soon as she was lining up in the middle of the stage, I was like, all right, I knew exactly what she was going to do. Oh yeah. Also, you did used to play this character. I, I still do play this character in somewhat. I'm for the moment I'm full on Terry because King of Fighters. Game, yep. But like, I still. I mean, I played this character for four years. Yeah, I, I know all the tricks. Okay. Now, even oh, forward air trying to dislodge Earl from the ledge, not gonna work. Try to drop down, read a low option from Mysterica. Ooh. She's gonna be able to make it back. Dancing Blade catches the Nair on the way down. And, and a good way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. The Tele sh movement. Teleport canceling is going to be the name of this set. I'm sh moving sure and grooving. For, for Mysterica. You will expect it from her nonstop. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it's a great mix up tool that I feel like a lot of Palutena's don't really utilize. And actually, even though the four days, the one uh, Palutena that I saw use that a lot is uh, Fruit. Mm -hmm. She's also really, really good at those teleport cancels, too. Also, Nairo, the few times he, he used it, her. Yeah. I, I mean, Nairo doesn't do it yeah, a lot, but like. You see Palu's like Mysterica and Fruit, they do it a lot. Um, Alright, here we go. Airplane, back air. Up to 42%. The miss, even though she was at a dis disadvantage, the first stock has taken it back and then so. Forward tilt, trade, that's going to take it. Even stocks. Earl sitting at 63%. This isn't too bad. You're definitely out of the range where you're not going to get an airplane up to a high percent. Good parry on the back air. Oh, Ooh. weaving in and out of the bottom of Explosive Flame. That is dangerous territory. Yeah, but Lucina does, when she does that run, she gets so low. Yeah, low profile and just barely staying alive. That Nair. The, the angle of Nair not very nice when it comes to getting those gimps. But Earl managing to come back to stage. Now Earl starting to try to scope out these, these teleport cancels. And back air spacing, that's going to do it. Mysterica taking the first game. Back air is so good. Oh, yeah. It's it's always been a good move on her. It's just gotten like a fine wine. It's gotten better with age. Because it didn't really improve fully, but it's just such a good move. So actually, general. if you believe it or not, theor not theoretically or technically, it did get nerfed from four to ultimate. The size of the invulnerability on that back air got shrunken down a little bit, but it's still an invulnerability. It was back a, air. it was a good nerf. It was a good yes. For if it was Smash Four, if it was like Smash Four back air, that oh my god, it yeah. would be, it would be oh my god. <laughs> Why did you nerf Palutena? <laughs> <laughs>
You picked the wrong one. Hey, hey, I'm just saying, like, this is why I loved the first year of this game because I was just like, the entire time, I was like, man, I can't wait to see what she plays like in this game. And my character faith was rewarded and then some. You and me both, buddy. Because now she's the Johnny of the game, yep. where every single patch, like, something gets touched and she just remains <laughs> the same. Oh, but Mysterica taking a very. <gasps> oh, good <laughs> catch from Earl. Yeah, I think there was one instance last game where he kind of missed that edge guard, so he's like, all right, you know what? Not this time. Yeah. Also, love the auto parry on that. I'm, I'm glad that, that that's allowed to be auto parry. You know, some things aren't uh, able to, but maybe it's just because that one's like a, exactly a frame or something. I don't yeah. know. Well, auto parry, well, auto parrying in this game is kind of kind of works the same as auto parrying in Third Strike, where if uh, if there is an attack where it's like a certain like multi hit box, where you don't have to have the timing specific specific, you just gotta mash it with a certain rhythm, and then you'll just get all the parries. Right. I know Oro's uh, like big ball super is falls under that rule, and a couple of Uriana blockables also fall fall under that rule too. Oh, but Earl throwing out that shield breaker. Earl, you got to be careful with uh, shielding around Earl because he likes to use that shield breaker more than most Lucina's. Like he he professes himself as, and, and you can quote he you can ask him and he can quote me on this. He has professed himself as the shield break god. Oh, he he does he, an amazing several job several that. times. He has that stock with also proven there. that point. Uh, but yeah, especially if, if Earl's off stage, I feel like he uses the shield breaker a lot more than people think. Try for the down air, edge guard again, but this time going up a little bit too high, not catching Palutena on the way up. Explosive flame. Catching the spot dodge with the back air. I like the use of Nair to cover and try to catch Palutena on the jump. And it's also a really good option for Lucina because, oh, the forward smash punishing that get up and Earl is going to even it up one game apiece. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, that that Nair, it's a really good option against Palutena because since she's so tall, mm. that's actually a really good way to kind of co get out cover, neutral get up, and jump at the same time. It's not a guaranteed option because no. there are gaps where you can get underneath uh, Lucina's Nair, mm. but because Palutena is so high, it's a really good way to just kind of discourage neutral get up in general. Yeah, and also neutral get up and, and jump both options that Mysterica was leaning on quite oh, yeah. a bit, especially with that jump going to uh, teleport uh, cancel options. Earl will definitely want to snuff those teleports out as soon as possible. Here we go, Nair Plains. All right, up air time. Catching all the landings down. Two forward airs, explosive flame. Still no damage, there it is though. Mysterica doing a really good job of stuffing Earl back on the way out. And there it is, Wingstop closing out that stock. And catching Earl also holding back. Oh, but wait! No. Oh. Okay. Oh, he was trying to do it. He tried to do the uh, same thing he did in game two. Except way more flashy because he didn't yeah. a double spike. All right. Three. Uh, four. And finishing with the up air, it's 55% right out the gate. Hanging back. Max spacing on the forward air. I feel like they're just kind of going at it. I believe first game was two stock. I think every two frame two back stock. air. That's going to close it out, and a little bit of the flourish at the end with the taunt. I mean, Miss Miss does love her taunts. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. She she's saying you know ready when you are. Yeah. And Palutena has some of the best taunts in the game. She is very no good cap. Taunts. Like she has some of the best taunts. And so did Zelda. Oh yeah. Up out of shield. Earl just trying his best to close out the stock in any way possible. Mysterica at 133, but she's not making it easy for Earl to get around. Oh. Might be getting a three stock. Might be. Back be throw close. off stage. Earl's got a chance here. It's gonna be a very big, uh, big hill to climb though. Up B, out of shield, that's going to seal it out. So two stocks to one though. This is a huge uphill battle for Earl. That's against a character that I feel like we don't really, like, we get a lot of reps, but not as many as you think. Oh, no, there's, there's no Chicago Palutena representation. Except, like, the only one off the top of my head is Archie. Salad? Uh, Archie, Salad, 
Oh, yeah, Archie, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But in terms of, like, at the level of Mysterica, that, not yeah, really, that's, no. That's more what I was going for, yeah. Which is surprising. Oh, that's, and that's, that's out gone. of range. Hits him with the wing stop. I think that I think that hit uh, Lucina's hand from down tilt. Yeah, that was, that was a, yeah, it was just an extension of, let's say, oh, I reached out too far, so might oh. as well whiff punish with forward smash. <laughs> Here's my wings. Yeah. All right. Lucina again. Okay. We are sticking with Lucina. I feel like each game so far has felt, felt, has felt kind of one-sided. Going, going to Battlefield. Oh, jabs. I mean, the, the big thing that happened... Honestly, I, I think Earl's first stock where he lost that that forward smash that was that was huge. That was that was big, especially just because uh, Miss just caught Earl diing out because mm -hmm. Earl was definitely holding out to like escape something. Her back air coming back onto the stage. Forward air dislodging Earl again and going super deep for that edge guard. The back air closing it out. Hey, we don't get that many people in Chicago, especially going out that that deep. For edge guards, especially against Lucina, who is a very linear recovery character. Yeah. You know where she's gonna go. Trying to combo into the explosive flame off the back air, but Earl Diang out to avoid that. Mysterica going back to center stage. Oh, forward air into reverse air rush black uh, back air. <laughs> Mysterica. Oh, oh. There Good you go, finally. Smash. That's like that's the first time that Earl was actively going out and trying to catch the warp cancel. Good option for the forward sma uh, up smash. Oh, and we got the taunt. Okay, and you know, so all right. I can they, do that too. They both they both do have a come at me taunt. Yeah, they both do. Ready when you are, come at me. What a pair. Um, Spacing out forward airs and back airs. I mean, you you play you play Palu. Uh, do you have invul or vulnerability frames when you're doing a teleport cancel, or, or is it just your uh, act if uh, so? The the key is is that if you have frames that have a lot of active frames that can catch it, it, like you're not totally safe. If you if you're predictable, people can and will catch it. Right. Well, I guess because you uh, so the you best don't want do air dodge. Exactly. You you want to use it more as kind of an unintended uh, or just as a movement mix-up yeah. rather than something that you do to constantly recover because that's what gets you blown up. And speaking of blown up, the stock. <laughs> Try for the ledge from back air. No dice. Here comes an air. Gets an airplane for his troubles. Try to end it with the forward air. Sterica doing a really good job. Out of range of the down smash. I respect the attempt. Here she goes. Ledge trapping again. <laughs> stalled with the uh, stalled with the side B to keep himself safe for a little bit, but then Mysterica immediately got center stage right back. And if Earl wants to take it, he has to take the stock basically like right now, because he's he does not want to take any more trades. No. Oh, oh, oh no! no she'll just come back. just barely. If that was a little lower, then that absolutely would have been the stock, yeah. Or if it was Smash 4. <laughs> yeah, but we, we don't talk about that game. No, in the Nether Realm now. Back air. No, no, that guy's no, still living. No double jump. That still managed to make it back. But the back air, that's going to seal it out. Mysterica moving on. 3-1. Getting the run back against Ned in Grand Finals.